They have Tinimbu and Atiku for 2023 strategies, but we will create 774 strategies for Nigeria. Adamo, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Adamo Garba has taken to his official Facebook handle to claim that the All Progressive Congress APC have Bola and Met Tinimbu as their 2023 presidential election strategies, and the People Democratic Party have Atiku Abubaba. Abu Bakai beg your pardon for their 2023 presidential election strategies, adding that he will create over 774 strategies for Nigeria. While sharing on his official Facebook handle, Adamo Gaba said they have Tunumbu for 2023 strategies, Atiku for 2023 strategies, but will create 774 strategies for Nigeria. Ours is pure love and care for all Nigerians. It could be recalled that Abamu Gaba in one of the claim that the People's Democratic Party PDP is playing a game on Atiku Abubakar, adding that they are managing him until they find their preferred, preferred candidate for the next 2023 presidential election. Although we do not know what Adamu Gaba mean in this statement. However, many Nigerians have taken to the comments but to share their thoughts. The majority is of the view that the two candidates will make better leader if elected as president of Nigeria. Can Tinimbu preside over the south while Atiku preside over the north? After four years, we decide by referendum what next. Is that not confederation? Not Tinimbu. I carry the loop for south. Atiku Abubaka for north. Tinimbu is sick and should go to sleep. Pure love for Nigeria from Adabu Garba. Interestingly interesting. You think we are fools. You have, you have love for only Fulanese. And jihadists. This guy thinks Nigerians have forgotten so fast. He's stylishly mocking us as they have dominated us for so long. If I may ask, why is APC not ready to announce Tinubu as their presidential candidate, but they want PDP to announce theirs first? Leave politics and go to school first. Oh my goodness, Mr. Garba, take your Nigeria and go away. We are no long, we are no longer interested. We are Biafra, and we will never walk alone. Oh my goodness. Tenubu Ahmed Bola Dekunle is our Nigerian economics problem solved. With God, all things are very much okay and possible. For the last old man opportunity standing for all Nigerians in general, both home and abroad, believe me, continue. <laughs> Abuja FCC Street, 2023 to 2031. Jagaban of the whole blessed universe, continue. Atiku and Tenebu should give way to the younger and less selfish politicians. Who are the younger? Was the like of Saraki or who? Who is fooling who? We do not need any fooling in our government anymore, and it is time for you to wake up. The president says it's not a seat for elementary politicians. Nobody should joke with Nigeria presidential seat. Atari Ajana. All this, I beg your pardon, all the small boy in politics should go and sit down to learn. We electorates are looking forward on how the clock will turn. It is between Tunumbu and Atiku. Those are the two prominent contenders for now. Tunumbu is a skillful politician and team player. I could see him defeating the PDP presidential candidate. Tunumbu, that is 79 years, lying about his age to the country, Nigeria. What do you guys expect from him? Nothing. He will be like Buhari and Biden. If Tenebu will be like Biden, God has answered Nigerian prayers, a president without racism, but with sound ideology and equal rights. That is why we blacks are proud of him in U.S. No matter the strategy, no party in Nigeria stands a chance against PDP and APC like in 2022 presidential election. Tambowal is PDP presidential candidate. He is a chairman, Northern Governors Forum. He is well-educated, young, and a former speaker, House of Representatives. I think he has money. Wives, experience, who controls greatest number of delegates become the winner at the presidential convention while Atiku is declining in influence, Tambuwal is rising. We are seeming to get it wrong. The electorates are getting it wrong. The truth remains. All these things do not, they, they do not mean. Don't be swayed away by who is old enough in politics or who is young enough. Who is competent enough should be the question. And I think we should go with what um, that senator, that sitting senator said. That criteria should be brought up that these people would meet. You can't just come and you are saying mere words. 
you should be prove you should be able to prove yourself even before you are sworn in as a president even before the electorate votes for you what do you have what strategies are you bringing in you are going to do this for us how can you tell us how and if you do not do it for us what happened that is it nigeria should develop this idea of putting in competent people and if you do not do what you're supposed to do your responsibilities as the president of a country or as the governor of a country or any public position what happens is the votes you have to impeach you and they put somebody who can do the job with this nigeria will go forward faster that is just it that is just it you cannot keep picking people based on sentiment or he will do the, he's a 10 player he has money no he's been old enough in politics is that is that competency Somebody can have all the experience and still not be able to, to do anything. To do anything when he gets there. That is the truth. Nigeria should not be swayed by tribalism, personality, or sentiment. This, is not, this has got nothing to do with all this. The thing and the truth remains that if we do not pick a very competent person come 2023, we are going to live with it for the next eight years. Are you ready for another eight years of hell? Are you? This is what exactly the, the electorate should ask themselves. And to find out if truly they are ready for another eight years of hell. With all this um, voting somebody based on, oh, he has the experience, he has the skill. What skills? I think criteria, criteria should be put in place that these people should meet. If you're talking about strategies, what and what. And you sh it, should be, it should be made to, it should get into the constitution. If you say you are going to do this and this and that and this and you are not able to deliver. In your fourth, second year as a president, the thing is you're going to leave and another person will come in. That is just it. If it is sworn into the constitution, I tell you, somebody who has the best interest at heart for Nigerians will come in. That is it. Because you know, the people will know, I mean, the, the candidates will know that if they do not perform well, they will definitely not con continue in office and they will be removed. So everybody who wants to do what they are supposed to do, they want to make sure that the electorate have, as in, have good words to say about them. So that come what may, they will keep themselves in office. That is the only way out. This is not, has nothing to do with brother, relationship, personality, what he did for me. No. If you continue like this, Nigeria will remain in it. In short, it will go down, but it will, go, it will grow more worse for Nigeria. That is just the truth. That is the truth. The both of them already know all the routes to siphon money from to siphon money from Nigeria to America and European countries without stress. They have stole before and we see more now. Remember Obasanjo warned us about Atiku long ago and we have seen Tinubu with bullion vans on election day and nothing has been said about it. Please we need new class of politicians from the younger generation, not the likes of Yaradua Buhari who need our money to manage their health. We are tired of presidents with the most travel records like Buhari. Atiku and Tinubu do not fit into the area of our dream. We are tired of screening people from mortuary to rusticate to be our president when we have healthy, young, vibrant, and intelligent younger generation that can turn Nigeria into our dream nation. We are the law of work like other great countries. The problem of Nigeria is really not the president, but the people who are gullible enough to sell their votes. Any country where the law does not work is a failed country heading to the grave. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning us on listen and sticking to the end until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.